In this review, we're looking at another WSI limited edition. This Tadano crane is in the colours of the American company Bay Crane. It comes in the standard Tadano branded box and included is a manual which we'll look at shortly. As usual, we have to cut the factory tape with a sharp knife and there's the model sitting comfortably wrapped in soft plastic. Included with the model is the standard manual and it shows you most of everything that you need to know. For the assembly we'll just get the crane ready for the road and we'll start by loading the counterweight on in the middle of the crane to spread the load evenly over the axles. Although whether this would be road legal in the US I'm not sure. Next we add on the lattice fly jib which clips to the side of the boom and it's good practice to line up the holes first with a very thin screwdriver before you try to get the pin in. Because we've lined up the holes the pin goes in nice and easily and then we can straighten up the jib. This is a very detailed crane model and you can see that from the chassis which has all the parts modelled. There are decent large all-terrain tyres and there's a fixed ladder modelled at the front. Included with the model is a two sheave hook block and also the safety cutout chain is also modelled. The Bay Crane graphics are very sharp and there's a realistic number plate and if we zoom in close there's even a tiny fleet number as well as other graphics. The carrier cab also has very high detailing as you can see inside the cab. That high detail is also repeated inside the crane cab and it has metal grab rails. A nice touch is the unique numbers on the counterweights. Other areas of high detail include textured steps and some tiny graphics and there's more texturing on the box at the rear. The wheels are also nice with the undriven front axle having a different hub. With the boom extended there are bay crane graphics on every section. With the Tadano on its back we can see that each of the axles has independently sprung suspension and each of the axles also has steering. And the only thing to note is that it's ninna notched rather than smooth. Let's get it out onto the cranes etc test track and it drives along nicely in a straight line. Let's set some nice tight steering and that allows the crane to turn very sharply. Of course if you've got two big pincers and many feet you might be a crab. So just for you we'll set the crab steering. Once we're on site we can set the crane up so we'll pull out the outrigger beams, detach the pads from their locking bars and then we can wind down the pads. That reveals nice smooth pistons and there are also spreader plates. They all work well so the model poses wheels free. And then we can get on to what we always enjoy and that's raising our boom. It goes up in a very smooth way and that's because it's a metal ram jacket and you secure the piston by using a key into a grub screw. This is a good and reliable system. Next we need to add the counterweight to the back of the crane. But because of the connection tabs we can't rotate the crane onto the counterweight like the real crane would. So we need some giant hand assist cranes to attach the counterweight. It clips into place nicely and then we can rotate and use the crane. The model features a working winch and to operate it you use a key on the drum. And it has got some friction so it will hold a load. For extra reach we can attach the fly jib or in this case we'll just extend the boom by pulling out the sections. There's enough friction to stop them slipping back down, but not too much that you can't actually pull the sections out. And WSI have got the balance just right. The other very nice feature on this model is the opening engine covers, and there are two of them. They both hold a pose when they're open, and you can see detailed engine parts underneath. <laughs> Tadano from WSI first appeared in factory colours in 2013 and it still holds its own as one of the best four axle crane models. It hits that sweet spot of excellent detailing and very good functionality and it looks great in bay crane colours. Overall it's an excellent model. Mm -hmm. 